Hi, welcome to Nerd Culture. I'm Armand Gutierrez. Today with me I have... Sasha Yosilani. And Sasha has been a longtime artist, and not only has she been a longtime artist, she's always been making pretty much delicate art along with um, artists with a more feminine touch. What really inspires you to go above and beyond in detail? I think in general I just push myself to work hard. I have a very rigid schedule I try to keep to. And I'm in nature very competitive, so when I see artists out there who inspire me, I kind of want to beat them in a way, if that makes sense. So I push myself, and yeah, yeah. I guess that's it. <laughs> um, so your art seems to be as detailed or even more detailed than even some of the more professional comic book artists and whatnot with your level of painting and especially with the amount of um, shading and colors that you put into it. Is there a difference between what you put into a black and white piece versus a color piece? Yeah, definitely. Because um, the color adds a layer of mood to the piece, so it's very important to decide what the mood is. and. With that, it's a whole different process right from the beginning. Because with black and white, you, I personally delve a lot more into the detail to show, to prove my point. But with color, um, it's less about detail. It's more about the technique and the lighting to prove the mood. Do you have a, uh, a favorite art technique that you like to try to put in in every piece or is there just something you're trying to shoot for with your techniques for getting the emotion conveyed? Um, I think in general I just try to make my work very well refined because I think it's, it's beautiful to see pieces that have been thought through in every detail but at the same time leave like a little window open for the onlooker to find something special in it. So in general, no matter if it's a painting or ink, I like to refine my work as much as I can and just put a lot of detail in it. And then uh, where can we find you online? Uh, I have basically every social media there is. Instagram and Patreon, Facebook, all that good stuff. <laughs> and uh, of course, to keep art alive and keep indie artists alive, you really should join her Patreon. Do you have the Patreon name? It is Sasha Yoss. So S A S H A Y O S S. Cool. Thanks so much, Sasha, and we'll see you next time. Have a great con. Thank you. All right.